Hi, we're Roy and Karen, and this is one of our craziest weeks in the villages. <laughs> Absolutely. But before we're going to let you in on all that, we have someone to thank. Roberta Witham, thank you so much. And I would normally say she gave us a super thanks, but we have a whole new way for you guys who want to help the channel monetarily, and that's through our PayPal link now. And we'll put that in the comments below. We'll put it in the show notes, and it's probably right here. Many of you guys have given us donations over these past few months, and you've paid for our wireless microphones and the GoPro, uh, and we're just so grateful for that. By the way, so many of you have been buying things uh, through our Amazon store. Not just the things that are in the store, but your own shopping. We're so grateful. Thank you so much. But let's get on to uh, more, better things here. The dilemma. What is the dilemma? We bought an RV. We're going out. We're exploring. We're, we're going on little mini vacations in the month of June. What did we do? We went on three different trips. So what's the problem? We're running out of clothes because we're never home to do laundry. <laughs> and we don't get to hang out with our friends here in the villages. Right. And we don't get to go to church. Uh, so we're, we feel like we're missing out. Now, it really isn't a complaint. We love going in the RV. We love being here in the villages. It's the whole balance. It, it is. It's how do you balance this thing out? But we came back after three trips in the RV and we just missed being villagers. So what did we do? Did our overachiever villagers week, <laughs> did everything. <laughs> we had definitely a personality <laughs> villagers. So here are the 10 things. Oh my gosh, let me put my coffee down. Here are the 10 things that we did in the past week trying to feel more like villagers again. Number one, block party. Mm. Where are we going? We are gonna go to somebody's surprise birthday party who we don't even know. We're here in Richmond? Yep, and we are headed to go see the Blues Brothers of Leesburg. Oh, I love these guys. I can't wait. Yeah, great band. <laughs> the Blues Brothers of Leesburg, we know them. We loved seeing them again, celebrating someone else's birthday. And also in a new neighborhood with all that mm -hmm. excitement and- You could feel it. Oh yeah, people that I've met, that I've helped with their financing when they bought their homes, people that we've never met that are just out there having a good time. It's just, it was a lot of fun. We just got out of prison, so we're looking for, you know, a couple girls that <clears throat> won't press charges. Let's get some finger snapping. The neighbor has towels and his racing horses. Each meal she ate was a dozen courses. He had a million dollars worth of nickels and dimes He counted them all on a million times
number two, the Arts and Crafts Show at Brownwood. Okay, the artists were amazing. Mm. Uh, uh, the, the creativity that, that these folks show, it's amazing. But when I was editing the video, <laughs> apparently the only thing really interesting for you guys to see was us tasting food. <laughs> <laughs> it was a lot of fun. <laughs> Now I know where to go for the dog treats now. There you go. So which sauce would you recommend? Uh, the honey maple bourbon is my favorite. That one's good. I just tried it. Because I like bourbon. <laughs> there you, go. you might be better off with your fingers. Maybe. Is that pulled pork? Here. Yes, it is pulled pork. Are you happy or are you just no, keeping them refrigerated? Yeah, so yeah, hiding from the summer. Oh my. <laughs> You're on the wrong no, side. Right. Well, for about well you didn't let me. You just ate it. Oh, no, you didn't get your own. <laughs> I'm going to do this i going to Costco. Yeah. Hey, I wish we had one. Hell, we're bad. Yeah, that's crap. We just moved here. There's no Costco. Anymore. I know. You're thinking about putting somebody said in Gainesville. Go to. There's no one in Claremont, I think. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Are they? But right now, Little West is down. Look, George and Gwen Vicari, we uh, watched your stuff quite a bit. Oh, yeah. you're filming us? <laughs> I am. <laughs> Thank you. How long have you been here? Oh. Four weeks. Oh, wow. Did you buy? Yes, in yeah. Duval. Nice. Oh, nice. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. So, very informative. Yeah. Thank you for your cart rights. Uh, we would watch oh, them at night. Oh, we got more coming. Good. Is that right? Okay. We're, we're up in freezing Illinois, and we're watching you guys drive on your carts, uh -huh. and we're saying, nah, now we got to make the move. Don't do this anymore. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing? Butter rum. Wait a second. You've been here a month? Yeah. What made you come? On sight unseen. Wow, good for you. And where'd you buy? Uh, down in North. Nice. nice. Kids. Now you guys are not old enough to have been to be retired. I've been retired 21 years. 22 years. I got hurt. I got shot when I was 15. Uh, okay. So. I know my. What you got there? Prima donna. Combination of Parmesan and Gouda. Mmm. <laughs> Truffle wrap. She wants to try that uh, Gouda thing. The Parmesan Gouda. Thank you. That is a smoke rock Number three. Edna's on the green. Favorite place to stop. We had to do it. Yeah, we love to go there. We love the musicians. We uh -huh. got to see Johnny Wilde and the trio. Mm -hmm. It was a warm summer day, but we just loved that setting. Well, I think it was a extremely hot summer day. Mm. And I think we were roasted by it within maybe an hour and a half. So number four, we went to the pool to cool off. Mm-hmm. Always good to go there, bump into friends and neighbors and Sometimes that's the only time we see them is at the pool this time of year. People are going and coming and... Uh, number five. 
4th of July, bruising, cruising. Uh, all those cars. Mm -hmm. And again, those vendors and, and you got the, the, the people on stilts. That was in Lake Sumter. Yeah, Lake Sumter Landing. We joined a group from our area. Oh, we picked caravaned. up a couple people along the way uh -huh. and created a caravan up there. And somehow we got divided, but we all <laughs> had a great time, it looks like. <laughs> we love going out to, to these events. The villagers do such a great job. Hi, honey. <laughs> It's Where Steve's. are we? We're at Lake Sumter Landing. Unbelievable. It is so hot. The what do you think? The balloons smell like they're melting. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, there was so much going on, so much to see and do. I don't even think we, we stopped to even listen to the band. Uh, it was Clark Barrios. Mm -hmm. It's a great band. Yeah. We heard it while we were walking around uh -huh. and enjoying things, but we didn't just sit and listen. But we meet people and we're chatting and it just had a great time. Yeah. Um, number, I'm gonna put the coffee down again so I can use two hands. Number six. Number six was game night. We, we met, we, we had set up a game night for some friends of ours to play that card game. We had company coming and trips planned and, Life. And the next thing you know, two um, months, um, three yeah, months, I mean, it's like we crazy. hadn't seen them. Yeah. So we said, no matter what, let's get them over here mm -hmm. or let's go over there. The, they hosted us first. And we played dominoes. We mm -hmm. hadn't played Mexican train in so long. That was such a good time. So now I got to put my coffee down again and tell you number seven. Back to Lake Sumter mm. to see the hooligans it's one of our favorite performers here they do such a great job and they're so much fun unbelievable how great this band is mm -hmm. and that square is awesome sitting there looking out over the lake uh -huh. with all the fresh air and great restaurants all around and just a great place to be now you work in Lake Sumter so mm -hmm. you're already down there yep. so I hitched a ride mm -hmm. with uh, Gordy and Deb, who have you? Look who's here, it's Gordy and Deb in the villages. Are you ready? <laughs> They've come to pick me up to go see the hooligans. Yeah. Have you guys seen them already? I don't think no, we, have, we have, just not. on YouTube. Oh, this is going to be exciting. Right here. Deb, who have a YouTube channel, and this is their address, their YouTube address. Go check them out. <laughs> uh, but you were there before I got there. Yeah, I went straight out after work. I mm -hmm. met a friend and staked out our, mm -hmm. our place and tried to save room without saving seats, which isn't allowed. And, <laughs> and none of it mattered because this massive thunderstorm blew in and shut everything down, including the band. And, and we all ran for covers. So. Now, I understand you didn't get covers. I got covers, but it, I mean, when a storm like that blows in, you need to go for deeper cover than we went for. We were over at the at the drink shack. We had cover, <laughs> and it dripped right onto us, and the rest of it got wicked up. <laughs> All I know is when I got there, and I have my GoPro, and I'm taking taking film, and Karen's like, "No filming me. I'm yeah, soaking I wet. She like was a drenched. Drowned rat here." <laughs> <laughs>
Now, we do have two things that we actually haven't done yet. We're doing one tomorrow and one the following day, but obviously we can't show you what <laughs> we haven't done yet. Mm -hmm. But uh, we have uh, our second annual Potluck for Pot our villas. Potluck for our villa neighborhood yeah, we, at the neighborhood pool. We learned that trying to invite the entire village, you may exceed capacity. So that right. wasn't the thing to do. <laughs> so we, we, we the, this is the second year we're doing this, mm -hmm. just inviting our immediate neighbors. Yeah, there's 130 some odd homes. Right. Not everybody's here. Not everybody's able to go. But we'll get together with a select group mm -hmm. and we just help facilitate something like that every quarter. And then the following day, we are having a bunch at our of place. personal friends, not just neighbors, but our friends, the people who we consider family here in the hammock uh, over for dinner. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I'm going to show you the picture of this pork loin that she's that she bought over at Costco. <laughs> I don't know how many pounds this thing is, but then she intends to cover it with five pounds of bacon. So it's it's gonna be good. <laughs> so that was number nine. Number 10 is we're actually recording this video and I gotta edit it and have it ready for you guys to watch Sunday morning. Good morning, how are you? <laughs> uh, and that takes time too. That takes hours of our time. Yeah. So th there it is, a list of 10 things in less than 10 days. And it is too much. It is too much. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and what happened was we were away from the villages so long that we just wanted to do everything villages. Mm -hmm. And yeah, but so we there's no fun overdoing it either. You know, you want to want to have some quality in there with the quantity. The fact is, there really was no RV trip we took that I was sorry we took because I was missing the villages. And there's nothing we do in the villages where I go, oh, I really wish we weren't here. I wish we were out in the RV. It really is. We love all this stuff and we want to do all of it. And we're all still working full time while we do it all. <laughs> Absolutely. And so there's the conundrum. Mm -hmm. What do we do? Any ideas? That block party in Richmond that reminded me that we had those guys, the, the Leesburg Blues Brothers. We had them right here in our driveway <laughs> for your 60th birthday party. We had a block party and we invited all of Hammock at Finney. <laughs> and, and it's funny because uh, when we were at... Um, like Sumter Landing. Yeah, somebody came up to us and said, Hey, I was at your birthday party, Karen. <laughs> So we, we're, we didn't, got, didn't get a chance to meet all those people who came to your birthday, mm -hmm. and we're still getting to know them now. <laughs> but if you haven't seen that video, check out this video right here. Here's Karen's birthday party. We had a blast. <laughs> In the meantime, we appreciate you stopping by. See ya.